Good afternoon. I'm Thompson William with an exclusive Canadian backyard moment. Good afternoon. I'm Thompson Williams. What could be more Canadian than barbecuing on Canada Day in my official Canadian outfit? Supplied to me by local kids. And here we've got our chicken marinated in a beautiful marinade. A little bit spicy, but with some Canadianism added into it, such as a touch of maple sugar. Actually, make sure you grab the right container because uh, mm, they may look similar, but uh, one does not work. Liberally spread for and away you go, taking careful aim not to. Just make sure you've got an array of lighters nearby, in case one doesn't work. We'll be right back after a <coughs> commercial. Cops in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada need your help to get a couple of scumbags off the street. And with the local cops help tied up with radar, we'll need all the help we can get. Cops say these small bands of locals are roaming the forests with unleashed dogs terrorizing locals. Now in order to catch these scumbags, cops are going to need your help. Cops here tell us this is a known hangout for unleashed dogs. As of yet, we've not been able to track them. In June of this year, cops say hikers were walking down this path when they were accosted by a stray unleashed dog. Now, local cops will be forced to pull from their limited resources to take valuable members from their traffic control, from speeders and commuters. So in order to get around that, we need your help. With your help, we'll put these scumbags off the street. If you've seen Rusty Rufus Roslowski, cops need you to call the information hotline tonight. Watch closely at our grainy surveillance camera and see if you don't recognize any of these scumbags. Call 1-800-K9-CRIMES-TV and help us get a couple of scumbags off the street. Next week on Canada's Most Wanted, help us catch a raccoon that's been terrorizing a neighborhood. Now, one mistake I'm told many ships make is playing around with the pheasant or chicken or whatever it is you have for the sake of playing with it. Uh, please, uh, don't play with it. Uh, turn it once and it's ready. Perfectly cooked, sumptuous Canadian barbecue. Meantime, your potatoes quietly cooking on the top shelf. Now, of course, if you follow the instructions and you weren't playing with it, like we mentioned, your chicken should come out looking unbroken on the skin and plump and ripe. And here you have folks, a delightful, perfectly cooked, sumptuous Canadian barbecue. Until next time, I'm Dr. William, barbecuing across the frozen... Hundreds of Canada, which uh, apparently not so frozen in the uh, summer time yards, <coughs> as I'm discovering excitedly. Until next time, I'm Dr. Williams.